what's good everybody it's your boy SBX another video for you guys I want to talk about why women these days westernized women are not acting like women I this is something that I had to say is because you know throughout time you know we're in a generation where women are not trying to be engaged to the feminist fem, feminine way I mean you know as in like what happened 50 years ago you know the attitude wise how they act towards relationships and how they act towards in society in public now first and foremost I want to say that not all women that are rather if you're western are gonna be nothing but narcissistic arrogant trauma queens and gold diggers and manipulative cunts and hoes and baby mamas and things of that sort you know I feel like the westernized society goes across to not just only America it can go across Canada it can go across uh, uh, UK, it can go across Sweden, or just any European country. Because realistically, you know, America and Europe do have this princess phobia going on. Because Europe is known for having that royalty coming to them. And, you know, they, they built that narcissistic role type of princess attitude bullshit and then also you have Australia and New Zealand you know but don't get me wrong I'm, I'm sure that some other countries they do have women who are going to be this way too but it's predominantly mainly on those specific countries you know and America is really the home of the cunts the gold diggers and the baby mama drama and things of that nature so I feel like you know back in those days where women were acting like women as far as you know taking care of their kids being happily married cleaning up the house and cater to their men without no attitude or anything like that you know but I mean don't get me wrong I mean there are some assholes during that time with men abuse their wives and women can't do much and society look at women like you know they're useless you know I, I never in my and in my mind rather if I was born in that era rather it was like the the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 60s, or whatever, or maybe the 70s, uh, I can never underestimate a woman's integrity and her true strength. In my opinion, I love women too much. Women are very strong. Women are clever. Women are smart. But at the same time, they have their dark side where you know, some women can be cunts, assholes, bitches, hoes, users and abusers, manipulative, and the list goes on. Now, I'm stating facts because that's going on with, with, with most likely a character trait of what women are capable of being. But here is like the government system and so-called pro-feminists pro are poisoning women's minds even reality TV show social media like it's Facebook Instagram Snapchat or whatever Twitter it's like they all influencing this woman to be and to act like a state of mind of trying to think she's a strong woman but really she's weak minded you know you're you're not making you're not encouraging women to be strong 
if they're going to be so bitter. You can encourage women to do better or act better or feel better and be feminine and show them the knife between good and bad. And you're not, it's like I said, it's not portrayed, it's not portrayed it. First and foremost, the government system. When a woman gets married and is following or is married, a woman have to, women don't have to sign a prenup. You know, she don't feel obligated. A woman has to feel like she's the, she's the main, the main star, you know, because she has this nice white dress. She got this nice ring, like she's a fucking NBA superstar. NBA or NFL star and they got their rings, you know, because it's the materialism that they feel like it's caring, you know, they look at marriage as materialism or just a Barbie penthouse bullshit sweet, you know they playing house with it but they don't know the whole condition about being married, but then when they step out of the divorce, it's like they getting their, they getting their money's worth even if they do this on purpose or not, but the ones who are doing this on purpose it's like they only care for the money. They're not, they they don't know what love is. But if a woman who just feel like she's fed up with this guy, it's, they're not seeing each other eye to eye. Okay, yeah, she's gonna get money regardless. Even if she cheated, a woman will get alimony, which is a fucking shame. You know, uh, like I said, when a woman cheats, okay, yeah, we gonna say yeah, she's a dirty bitch for doing that. But hey, she gonna get idolized. You know, like like I said, women idolize like bullshit. Like, okay, with, with, with westernized women, they will look up to Marilyn Monroe. And Marilyn Monroe was known for being so seductive, and she fucked JFK. You know? And she did drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's not a bad... That is not a role model, in my opinion. That's a bad role model. You know? Yes, it sounds cool the way how it looks like as a movie or the stories are interesting, but damn, being her is really not good. You know, everybody's, like I said, everybody's influenced on the wrong things and women are the, are the prime example. Like I said, with, with social media, they they see women twerking and shaking their ass, but you gonna judge the next bitch for doing that shit. But you do that in the club, or if you're doing that around your, with different niggas or just your men, you know what I mean? You're such a hypocrite. You know, every woman, like, like even in, if you're in a strip club, or if you meet a prostitute, the difference between a stripper, a prostitute, or if you do porn, you're a porn star, versus a uppity bitch is because one thing is like a prostitute. Everybody know what she do, and she ain't got no shame in her game, and she's making money for doing it. You know what I mean? A hoe, a uppity bitch, wanna play like she wanna be, f a, she's a good woman, and she's a woman with morals and integrity, and she do the opposite of what a woman should act like. And what again is hypocrisy, you know? Uh, idealistically, I will say is that, you know, you see more of this, these these fake ass bitches than a, than a real woman. Cause a real woman is not like I said. Real woman is not gonna shake that her ass for cash or steal money for the for or I mean like rob a nigga for his money or don't do chores or any other household duties like a like a wife or a mother should do. You know what I mean? Like like I said, there are good mothers in this world, but. The ones that are shitty, they use their kids as a fucking check from the government system, you know? I mean, I mean, some guys do too, but usually child support is money in her eyes. That's money. You know what I mean? I, I heard stories where this one woman um, actually had child support by two different dudes she was with. Plus got SSI. Plus got Section 8. Plus got welfare. This girl is 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 ghetto rich of off these things, you know. And she don't give a fuck about her child. And that's sad because, you know, you got women who get all this money and don't even do much for their child. You know, the hairs, the chairs nappy as fuck. They ain't even change the diaper. 
don't even give it too much attention at all. Scream at that kid. If he did a small mistake or just wanted attention. When I was living in Georgia, most likely I see that a lot. You know, you have black women who are screaming at their kids, smacking their kids behind their ass, or punching them in the fucking arm, and screaming at them, be like, get out of my hair! Taquaja! Get over here, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you! In public. Rather, if you're waiting for the bus, or at the at the store or whatever and in the and like I said sometimes in the ghetto black mothers are not good mothers because they sleep with these thugs these gangsters these players and these losers but she feels like she has to be respected because she has a mother and he she got custody man fuck that shit you know Nobody's not a a fiendish of core. Nobody's not acting like a black queen mother who is just trying to make their kids make a better life for themselves. You know what I mean? Or or better yet, have a mindset of a normal person and discipline their kids in the right way. That's the problem. Black women in the ghetto do not discipline their kids. And what happened? These ghetto kids will turn into thugs and gangsters and bitter ass reality TV show hoes and strippers and hood rats that's what it's gonna be you know because this is predominantly a westernized thing I mean yes America does do that but I even hear that from Canada I hear that in UK in in Australia and that's fucking ridiculous And then, I mean, if if you're from a a third world country and you live in a fucked up neighborhood and a fucked up environment, some of these women don't act like these these things, you know what I mean? They may live in a fucked up neighborhood, live under poverty, poverty, uh, gang wars going on, but I bet you the foreign women who live in, like I said, if they're from Brazil living in the favelas or... Uh, or Africa or whatever like that and they live in a on those um countries where everything is all fucked up they going like they're more likely to treat their kids and act more of a woman than women in these westernized countries you know and like I said with with the UK wherever if you live in London I mean I mean London England uh, or Ireland or Scotland it's like especially in the UK in London it's like you know I heard that they get a lot of benefits from like women get benefits too but I think their system is a lot different compared to America's but our system is like you get a lot of shit you know if you're in need but women will get everything that they almost can get like I said, hood rats, they can, they can be food stamp rich, SSI rich, welfare rich, child support money rich. It's like, damn, they can get so much, you know, and they feel like they can succeed at everything and they don't have to do a motherfucking thing. I mean, hell, I wish I can have that, but at the same time, I don't want to have multiple men. You know, rather if he is paying child support or not. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a fucking war for the government and paying, getting money from the system. I mean, I got, I mean, I've been, I has, I have that situation where, you know, food stamps is most likely needed because, okay, I need food stamps. I ain't got a job. So I need food stamps in order for me to feed myself. You know, public assistance or whatever, you know, and you know, for for a man, you don't get much. For a woman, you do. But beyond the fact, like with, with feminists, I don't get the fact that they talk about there's no equality, there's no this, there's no that for women. It's bullshit. You got it. You're right there. You caused that trauma. You caused that bullshit to happen. 
And then, like I said, how you can you say that you're a strong, independent woman if all you do is bitch and complain and not do much to better yourself and meet the same type of people that make your dumb ass miserable? You know, that's 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 why that's the thing that I don't understand. And uh, the America is giving to you all these opportunities, and even with jobs. You know what I mean? I know women can't work and make a nine to five, but you're gonna have some that don't do a motherfucking thing and complain about shit. Or the ones that do have a nine to five job, they still complain about some things about having a job. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? Everybody get the same shit. Oh, women don't get equal pay. Bullshit. In this day and age, a woman will make so much money than a man. And that's something that really hurts us as a man. It's like, your girl is making more money than you. But if a man makes more money than you, you want to bitch about it. Or be the gold digger and just take that opportunity and use him and milk him out his money. Really milk him out his money. You know what I'm saying? So... This is the this is the biased type of hypocritical mindset that women are just talking. You know, there is no equality. It's a double standard we're living. You can't say that women don't get this. Y'all women have certain things that y'all can't and can't do. Same thing applies to men. Sometimes men can't be bitching about alimony and child support and shit like that if a man was really serious about his life he may not need that shit if it's necessary he will need it but most in most cases no nah. if it's that's what he want to do that's what he's going to do but most of the time y'all women are just so devoted to the assholes the thugs the lazy guys with no ambitions and shit like that than a man who is more captivating, who makes an honest living, and is well educated. You know what I mean? And it's sad. It's, it's really hypocritical. And you want to blame that all that all men ain't shit, niggas ain't shit? What the fuck? It's dumb. I mean, everybody has a weakness for a fucking reason, and you you're building a build a nigga talking about he had to have this type of look he had to make six figures he had to make this he has to make that and and, and you're no different (laughs) it's it's pitiful and it's sad and you know it's very amusing to me it really is And lastly, I want to say it's like, women don't even do women roles no more as far as taking care of their men, be emotionally there for them, like talking to them with their problems or being around their company, uh, cooking, like I said, cook for them, clean for them be a good mother if they have children I mean like I said they women are gonna do they're gonna do right with their kids some will some don't but you got some shitty parents you know and you have shitty moms in this world but the point is is that if you're not acting like a family woman you know some women rather just go out go to the club with their girlfriends drink come home at four or five o'clock in the morning type shit you know, well, a good woman, her days either she's going to work, she take care of the house, she feed the kids, do to help them with their homework, cook dinner, make sure the husband is all right, talk about each other's day, etc. But loud nowadays, women don't want to hear that shit. They so glued up on the phone or glued up to the TV and watch dumb shit on TV or post some dumb shit on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and whatever. You know, 
doing basic bitch type moves. So again, it's like, yo, what the hell are these women thinking these days, you know? They're not being civilized anymore. They're not acting feminine anymore. They're not acting like girlfriends. They're not acting like wives. I mean, like I said, it's there, but it's just that in, in some cases, and, and, and the way how this look on social media and reality TV shows, they're bringing too much negativity towards women. And then when they get single, they want to play that Beyonce, all the single ladies and men ain't shit type of phase, you know? Be by themselves with their cats and their fucking poodles and yerkies and shit. Uh, or, or whatever the case may be to feel like, you know, they, they really are failures in life of not acting like a woman. But you're a strong woman. No. If you're single and you don't have no good luck in men, as in like, really you don't have a good chance with men, okay, that's fine. But you can't say every man can't want you, you know what I mean? Unless you're really ugly, but that's me, that's, I can't even be this shallow. But the point is, I feel like women could get a lot of things handed to them more likely than a man could. So when all these years gone up where women were eligible to work, when women were started to vote, when women started to get equal rights, and women don't have to feel like they are targeted as uh, sex objects or slaves or whatever. It's like, yeah, it's freedom. But it's like they crave so much more freedom. They want more stuff. They want, realistically, women want to be like men. They want our roles. They want our fun. They want our some of our mindsets. But still want to be feminine. But in the end, you can't have your cake and eat it. You know? Always, always accept the things in life. Do the things that a good woman do, a good person should do. And, and, and women are lacking these things. Women are lacking so much of devotion, feminism, I mean, femininity, and morals. Because, like I said, there are mistakes, they're influenced by the wrong people, and watching the wrong programs, and bad relationships. Also, even in their environments, will calculate how women are acting and why they fail at acting like women, why they fail at marriages, why they fail at proceeding at a good job of their of their of their choosing. And on top of that, how society viewed them. So they think it's easy to be a whore. But hard to be a woman. So it's like they, they, they're they fusing it up. Last thing I gotta say is really that if you want yourself a good woman in these westernized society, you gotta call for a lot of money and be an asshole and treat them like whores. Because realistically, women have a mentality of a prostitute. So like I said though folks, take it or leave it. Anyways, y'all can y'all can leave your comments on the comment sections below. Like and subscribe. SBX, I'm out. Peace.